Are we ready to pretend everything in the world is okay? Yes, we are. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So, in today's video, we are going to follow the queen, the legend, Nikki Tutorials. I almost, like, not all, but I have most of the products which she used, so I'm proud of myself. And it's not about any of the products, it's about the techniques and everything. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to make this a series for this week so that, you know, everybody can be entertained and you can watch me for maybe like 15, 20 minutes in your day and just feel a little escape from what's going on outside because I really, really need it right now. So let's get into the video and follow the queen. Listen, I'm not even going to bother about my hair. We are in quarantine. I didn't even blow dry it or anything. And it was so, so hot. So I have to tie it up. Sorry if it makes you look... Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Today's video is going to show you how to look fire without busting the bag. So she has some spray. I don't have that, but I'm going to use in this step alone. Mist, like mist, okay. mist. For foundation, so I am making. using this One right mist. here. So I'm just going to spritz my face. This spray is actually really nice. It doesn't have fragrance. It doesn't have all the crap, which is unnecessary. So next, she's going in with the L'Oreal foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. 24 hour foundation. I tried 24 oh, yeah. hour makeup before. Wanna see what that looks like after 24 hours? Click somewhere in the screen. I'll have it up or I'll put it in the description box below. Not gonna wear this for 24 hours, but I am putting it on my face. Can you get, yeah. see that? She's in the shade 101. I'm in the shade 108. Oh, look at her, look at me. Am I just, my head? No. Oh, me. maybe oh. anyway. a little bit. We're not going to bother oh. about that. Foundation on a beauty sponge. Hold on. I am going to get my sponge. So my damn sponge. I'm going, I'm using. Stop walking. So, holy cake. So satisfying to see Nikki apply her foundation. Make sure you stay tuned towards the end of this video for I a mean, special I'm going to apply the Nikki style. You want to make sure that you blend the foundation all the way to every little corner that is visible on your face. So if you have your hairline, you kind of want to smudge it into the hairline a little bit so it's traceless. You never want it to look like you're wearing a mask. <laughs> Who am I kidding? My foundation always looks like a mask. My do. One thing about this foundation is that it does, you know, cling on to the dry parts of the face. Like, you know, if you have acne or anything, just cling on to that. So that's one thing I don't like about this foundation other than that. And I feel it's too mad, like too, too mad for my taste. And Nikki has dry skin. I don't know if it's weird or something. I, I sound like a stalker, but I know she has. I, I can remember when I watch somebody and they say something, I can remember it really well. So I'm like, I'm just not a stalker, but I know Nikki has red, red, like really, really dry skin. So I am surprised she's using this foundation because this is extremely matte. It's not bad. It's just extremely what matte. What I do with the forehead is I focus most of the product like on the center and then I just kind of I don't apply a lot of foundation on Bring my it forehead, up. but Ooh, today we boy. are. Yes. Now it's time for concealer, and I have two options, so it's up to you. Maybe you have one of these laying around. I have the e.l.f. 16-hour camo concealer. Yes, really I like that one, but this is a newer one. I feel loving this one, too. This is by Makeup Revolution. It is a 16-hour wear. Conceal and define. So, I don't have that found, like, that concealer of Makeup Revolution, but have the original, like, the previous one. So, I'm going to go in with that only. I'm sorry, but like when I do that, I'm just pausing so that I can go along with her. So I'm oh, just right applying that. I'm going to bake my under eyes and set my entire face using the Fit Me Loose Powder in 05 by Maybelline. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just going to conceal these dark circles. One thing about Nikki is like she always uses this round side even for a concealer because I'm so used to going to the pointy side to get into the corners, but she always 
always always always uses the round side i watch her almost like every single video so i know that she always goes in with a pointy side i don't know how she gets in there but ultimately her face looks flawless so next she's using the maybelline fit me powder i have the powder right here i am in the shade medium so this is actually a little dark for me but i guess we're going to go with that today probably should get the lighter shade of this powder this is such a beautiful powder but i don't like the shade on it okay i'm gonna go off camera for a little bit and do my brows um i did a brow tutorial not too long ago and i'm using the maybelline brow ultra slim defining pencil this is up there with anastasia beverly hills uh, the benefit precisely oh, my right. brow like Let this feels use. like high-end makeup in my humble opinion one of the best eyebrow pencils on this the market the so I'm gonna be using this to fill up my brows and be back, back as well alright my brows are done brows are, done. Brows are looking oh, luscious and sharp yes, and now it's time for too. a soft ultra glam makeup look this right here is the LA Girl Pro Artistry eyeshadow palette oh, in the color Hello, I don't know the name, but it is this one with these sort of like it's the shades in it. So it's, it's what I'm going to be doing is create that soft, smoky haze, that smoky lash line, and then a pop of shimmer on. A nice and affordable trick is just picking up your concealer and using that as a base. Yeah, so I'm just going to use my uh, Maybelline Instant Rewind because it's a little lighter and I want the shadows to pop and the Makeup Revolution one is too, like, almost my skin tone so i'm just gonna use this and the first color i want to go in with feels like this shade right here all right i'm picking up that shade and which shade it into feels like this shade right here i'm picking up that shade into the crease the crease so from outer to how does hers look more warm and mine looks like a brown all right, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. The way Nikki places her color, it's like every single shadow seems so, so, so pigmented. And when I go in with it, I'm like, but you know, guys, I literally learned so much from her. Like so much, so much, so much. The way she does her makeup is so amazing, amazing, amazing. So anyway, she's just taking one brush and adding the shade in the crease. We are defining that crease. And I'm just stamping that color onto that concealer base because that way the pigment is really going to adhere to the sticky concealer. Look at her. Look at her pigmentation and look at mine. Am I just stupid? And yeah. on a more fluffy brush, just you hold just on. want to fluff that so this is a kind of an example too. Skin tone matters a lot for colors to pop or you know to make us things look a certain way. A beautiful sculpted look, look at the, the nose, nose region. region. On the lid, I don't know why, but this color is speaking to me. So I want to pick that up on a brush and put it down on my lid, but a little bit further up because you want to keep very close to the lash line clear for dark smokiness. <gasps> I'm just not in the mood or it's so irritating it's so hot ah, I'm dropping everything it's such a mess I'm sweating I'm literally sweating you cannot see it my back is dripping with sweat so it's that bad stop it get some help oh, a smoky lash line I'm gonna smoke that out into that outer portion here Smoke it. See? See to the lash line. So it's always dark and dark smoky, and but not this sort of like there. You kind of want to smoke it out of it. So I'm going to take that first crease color and make it softer. Oh, okay. hi. You know what? I'm going to do the other eye off camera, pop a lash on. I'll be right back for more. Me too. Oh, right. The eyeshadow palette does have a lot of fallout, so be mindful of that. It's a good palette, but it has a lot of fallout, so probably use it before doing your base or something like that. And second, the silver and the, like, you know, shimmers apply way better with your finger than a brush. So on this side of my, uh, you know, lid, I started applying with the finger, and it worked really, really well, you know, better than a brush. And, uh, yeah, let's continue. She has something in her lash line, dude. I don't know if she mentioned it. So I'm just going to pop on this. 
just to open up the eye a little. Are we looking like Nikki yet? I'm for bronzer. Yes, I am using the finally. Maybelline City Bronzer in 100. I've been using this very frequently lately. I don't have the Maybelline one. I'm going to so go in with the, the Wet n Wild one. Way up here. And I'm going to use the same kind of brush Nikki does. So I'm, I'm using the Real Techniques one. It's a dense brush. So just taking that and doing it and then in circular motions i bring it forward and my face shape benefits from pulling the bronzer down here because my natural shape goes like this at your nose just take my bronzer and bronze my entire nose oh so i love that even i do that a lot i just bronze my and entire nose powder and snatch the sides a little bit on the top of the bridge. Sure, so she even carved her nose with it. So I was going to use the same Wet n Wild, uh, the lighter shade in this. Snatch that nose. I usually don't do this these days. Like since like four or five months, I stopped doing this. I just cut down my like, bronze up my whole nose and highlight in the center. That looks really good on me. But since Nikki is doing... Look at that. I'm that is a carved too. nose. Now you take a big face much. brush and brush away the face powder lightly and you're left with a softly structured contoured nose. For blush, I'm going to take one of my all-time favorites. This one is by Flower Beauty. This is a Flower Pots powder blush and so, this one is uh, Hold on, Rainbow. I don't have the flower beauty one but but i do have a similar one this is the makeup revolution brush it's like a similar tone and it looks really 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 pretty on me in the color peach primrose i wonder how side, products are sticking to our face this foundation is so on mad. the side of the face to pull up and sculpt even more i was gonna do a bit on the nose on the bridge a little on See the nose. That, like that. Okay, one of the most so what I do is I usually bring my blush all over here as well. So because I have like really nice cheekbones, so when I smile, like this part of my face hits like light and it looks really pretty. But she's not doing that, so I'm not gonna do it. Affordable highlights in my collection is by Catrice. This is a 3D glow highlighter in the color okay. Icy Glaze. We, we don't have Catrice in India, do we? I don't think we do. So I'm just going to take a... So I'm going to go in with the Balm highlighter. I know this is a drugstore tutorial, but I don't have a highlighter, which is a little icy, a little white in tone. I mostly have, which is like, a champagne or gold or that tone because that really suits my skin but this is a very good balance of a highlighter for you know to be too icy or gold i really like this this isn't the i don't think this has a shade does it uh this is um marilu bronzer sorry um, illuminizer that's it that's it what it says so i really like this so i'm just going to go in with that if it can just open can you help him? Hello. Yes. This is like completely broken. I dropped it. <gasps> okay. Anyway. A soft glam look is a nude overlined lip. Yes. So if you're against it, yes, yes, yes. I guess that's the end of her tutorial because I cannot obviously match the lip with her. I'm going to go in with uh, the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade Chestnut. It's a beautiful liner. I really like this for a nude lip. So she basically just went in with a really peach color lipstick or a gloss something and but then she first initially overlined with something a little pinkish but I don't think pink would go with this look so I did use a brown liner. So I'm going to use this Faces Canada Matte Lip Crayon in Spiced Latte. So very beautiful. So yeah, that's it for the look you guys. Don't mind my hair, I'm not even bothering to blow dry it or anything because I'm at, I'm generally also at home but uh, I don't know, there's a lot of things going on in my mind and uh, I, I'm sorry if this video is also all over the place or I don't know if I didn't do it properly. 
I'll be better in the future videos and this is going to be a series in this one week. I just thought it'll be something which will be really entertaining for everybody. So if you think this is something you would enjoy, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. I'll post the video and you'll get notified. I'll post this week every, like every single day. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.